Hi, this lecture is about extraordinary nanomaterial graphene. The simplest way to describe graphene is that it's a single thin layer of graphite, the soft black material used in the pencil lead. In other words, graphene is allotrope of carbon in the form of a single layer of atoms in a two-dimensional hexagonal lattice, as shown in this figure. Typical diameter of carbon atom is about 0.33 nanometer, and since graphene is one layer atom of carbon atoms, there are about 3 million layers of graphene in just one millimeter of graphite. Interestingly, when graphene is isolated from graphite, it takes on some miraculous properties. It's a mere one atom thick, the first two-dimensional material ever discovered. Graphene has a special set of properties which sets it apart from other allotropes of carbon and basically from all other materials. Graphene is harder than diamond but yet more elastic than rubber, tougher than steel yet lighter than aluminum. Graphene is the strongest known material. Graphene possesses other amazing characteristics. For example, it has a very high surface area. You can cover an entire soccer field by having just 6 grams of graphene. Graphene is an amazingly pure substance. That's because the graphene's structure is simple and atoms are bonded in a tight, regular format. Carbon is a non-metal, so you might expect graphene to be non-metallic too, but it's not true. Graphene behaves much more like a metal, although the way that uh, it conducts electricity is a bit different. But because of that, some scientists describe graphene as semi-metal material. Let's look at some of the extraordinary properties of graphene in more detail. Strength and stiffness. Most probably you have used pencil and you all experienced how much soft pencil lead graphite is. That's because the ca carbon layers inside the stick of graphite shave off easily, very easily, but uh, the atoms within those layers are very tightly bonded. So graphene, which is one layer atom of the graphite, is even stronger than diamond. Graphene is believed to be the strongest material yet discovered, somehow like 200 times stronger than steel. Remarkably, it's both stiff and elastic like rubber. So you can stretch it by an amazing percentage, like 20 to 25% of its original length without breaking it. Isn't it crazy? So that's because of the flat planes of carbon atoms in graphene can flex relatively easily without the atoms breaking apart. One possibility of taking advantage of such properties to mix graphene with other materials such as plastics to make composites that are stronger and tougher, but also thinner and lighter than any uh, known material that we already have. Imagine an energy saving car with super strong, super thin, super light plastic body panels reinforced by graphene. That's one of the examples of how drastically graphene might change our future. Heat conductivity. Graphene has the very high thermal conductivity ratio and it's better at carrying heat than any other material, better than the brilliant heat conductors such as the silver and copper and much better than either graphite or diamond. In fact, graphene conducts heat two times better even than diamond. Electronic properties. This is where graphene starts to get really interesting. Materials that conduct heat very well also conducts electricity well because both processes transport the energy using electrons. The flat hexagonal lattice of graphene offers relatively little resistance to electron which zip through it quickly and easily carrying electricity better than even superconductors such as copper and almost as well as superconductors. Unlike superconductors which need to be cooled uh, to low temperatures, graphene's remarkable conductivity works even at room temperature and its electrical conductivity is like 13 times better than copper. Scientifically speaking, we could say that the electrons in graphene have a longer mean free pass than uh, they have in any other materials. In other words, they can go uh, electrons can go further without crashing into things or otherwise being interrupted, which is uh, what causes electrical resistance. So how this can be used? Imagine a strong, light, relatively inexpensive material that can conduct electricity 
with greatly reduced energy losses. On a larger scale, it could revolutionize electricity production and distribution from power plants. Graphene also has high electron mobility, which is like 100 times faster than silicon, the conventional material used in electronic industry for decades. It means electronic devices based on graphene virtually can work 100 times faster because electrons can move in graphene like 100 times faster. Optical properties. As a general rule, the thinner something is, the more likely it is to be transparent. It's uh, easy to say why, because we seen fewer atoms to battle, photons are more likely to penetrate through thin objects than thick ones. As you might expect, super thin graphene being only one atom thick is almost completely transparent. In fact, graphene transmits about 97-98% of light compared to about like 80-90% for a basic single pane of a window glass you have the scores. Bearing in mind that graphene is also an amazing conductor of electricity, you might start to understand why people who make solar panels, LCDs, and touchscreens are getting very excited. A material that combines amazing transparency, super electrical conductivity, and high strength is a perfect starting point for applications like this. Impermeability. Graphene is impervious so that even the smallest atom like helium can pass through a defect-free monolayer graphene sheet. Sheets of graphene have such closely bonded carbon atoms that they can work like super fine atomic nets, stopping other materials from getting through. That means graphene is useful for trapping and detecting gases, but it might also have promising application for holding gases such as hydrogen that leak relatively easily from conventional containers. Graphene is still very new, actually. It's uh, already started to find exciting applica applications in new forms of energy storage, such as superconductors and water filters that could uh, reduce pressure on the planet by helping us to turn ocean water into safe cleaning drinking water. But how graphene was discovered? Scientists have theorized about graphene for decades. It has likely been unknowingly produced in small quantities for centuries through the use of pencils and other similar applications of graphite. It was originally observed in the electron microscope in 1962. The material was later, later discovered, isolated, and characterized in 2004 by Andrew Game and Konstantin Novoselov at the University of Manchester. They made graphene by using pieces of sticky tape to pull off the flakes of graphite then folding the tape and pulling it apart to cleave the graphite into even smaller layers. Eventually, after a great deal of work, they were amazed to find they had some bits of graphite, only one atom thick, graphene, in other words. This work resulted in the winning Nobel Prize in Physics of 2010 for underground breaking experiments regarding the two-dimensional material graphene. But how graphene is made? If you ask me how graphene is generated, I'd say you can potentially make graphene at home. How? Take a pencil and some sticky tape, stick the, pen, uh, the tape to the graphite, peel it away, and you'll get a layer of graphite made of multiple layers of carbon atoms. Repeat the process very carefully over and over again, and you'll hopefully end up with uh, carbon so thin that it just contains one layer of carbon atoms. That's your graphene. But for sure, it's not a specific and scientific uh, way to make graphene. Producing high quality materials is still a challenge. Dozens of companies around the world are producing different types and grades of graphene material, ranging from a uh, high quality single layer graphene synthesized using a chemical vapor deposition based process to graphene flakes produced from graphite in large volume. I'll talk about the fabrication methods in the future sections, by the way. High-end graphene sheets are mostly used in R&D activities or in extreme applications such as sensors, but graphene flakes produced in large volume and the lower cost are adopted in many applications such as sport equipment, consumer electronics, and automotives and more. Amazing properties of graphene and its multifunctionality make graphene suitable for a wide spectrum of application ranging from electronics to optics, sensors, and bio devices. 
Graphene research has evolved into a vast field with more than 10,000 scientific papers now being published every year on a wide range of topics. I hope you found this lesson informative. See you in the next lecture.